So today we are finishing up the Breath of the Wild shield. This is video number three. First one we made the shield boss, then the handle for the shield. So if you wanna see those, check out the other videos. And this shield, we're gonna make the main body. We're gonna do it out of pine. It has leather on top. It's kind of um, more complicated than it looks. So let me show you a little bit about the plans and how we're gonna construct it, and then we'll get right into it. So here's a view from the side. You can see this is the brass boss. This is the frame around the shield on both sides that we have to build. If you look at the shield from the side, it's domed on top. You can see that right there. So we need to um, build up some wood and then shave down this step. So you can see we're gonna use a piece of uh, three quarter inch and then glue another three quarter inch on top of that. And then there is about a quarter inch at the back of the shield. This is where the handle would be in the strap right here. And that's that. All right, with our cutouts, we'll go back to the tool bench. And you don't have to use a table saw. You can do all this even with a handsaw or a jigsaw. Okay, it's just a lot more work, you know, but you can do it. So these nine inch wide boards will be the middle layer and I'll have the grain going like that. The top layer of these seven and a quarter inch boards will be glued together, cut in a circle and glued down like that. I will let these dry for, I don't know, a couple hours and we'll come back. This is a little tool I made to help me draw a perfect circle. I'm going to put a nail through this hole that I made right there and then a pencil through here. like that same thing on this one tap the nail in and this one's a little oh I did uh, seven and a half it needs to be seven and a quarter let me put a hole in there in the right spot we'll go right at the edge There you go, I drew it a, a quarter inch too big. All right, now we just cut it out with the jigsaw. We want to make sure it's in the right spot. So how about we use this trick again? This doesn't have to look pretty. I, in fact, none of this does because we're going to cover all of this. All of this is, uh, all of this wood is going to be buried in the shield, so you won't see any of this. I'll right, we'll flip it over. Make sure it doesn't go past the inside circle. I shouldn't see any of the inside circle because all of this is going to be covered. It doesn't matter if we mess up the surface. So if I see any high spots, then I'll put in a screw. Otherwise, it's, yeah, right here on this edge, it's sticking up. So let's put in another one. There we go. And right here. Oh. 
Okay, that's about as much as we can do today. This needs to dry overnight, so I will see you guys in the morning. There we go. This five inch circle is gonna stay flat and the rest is curved. What I plan on doing is, um, here's the shield upside down. I'm gonna have it on a table saw on this piece of wood that's uh, got a little pin in it to help pivot. So I can spin this on the table saw and we're gonna have the, uh, I don't have any lead here, but we're gonna have the blade of the saw to start shaving off this as I spin it around. You can, you know, remove material on the table saw by sliding it sideways on the blade, <clears throat> but not much, not quick, and you gotta kinda know what you're doing. So let's see how this works. I have no idea if it'll work, I just think it will work. And that way I can get a perfectly smooth um, curve, make this uh, convex nice shape and then I just have a little bit of sanding it's not going to be perfectly clean the first time but I don't know I'm, I'm curious to try it let's see if this works so let me explain this cut or it will make no sense I have a hole and a dowel right here in the shield that allows me to spin it on this piece of wood it's slightly bigger than the shield the shield goes on here this goes over the blade I can spin it and get a cut in here. All right, I have this piece of wood with a hole in a dowel right here so that I can slip that on. I have the um, profile of the shield. I can raise the blade. I have a stop right here so the wood can't go too far and cut too much. So once I adjust the blade, I take this off, put the shield on, spin it around, and it's going to cut the shield. Theoretically, I've never done anything this goofball on a table saw before. Well, let's see if this works, huh? Where's that hole? Right there. Now, it looks complicated, but it really only took me, um, I don't know, eight minutes, five minutes to set this up. I think in the long run, it'll give me, um, save me a lot of time. I'm gonna get rid of this mic because I don't want a dangling cord. By far the goofiest cut I've ever done. Oh, look at that, that's not so bad. It's kind of working, you can see, I don't know how well this is showing up. You see this bit of scoop, so I need to fine tune it here, but it removed all of this. Let's keep going with it and see how this pans out. At least it's gonna be symmetrical, whether it's accurate, that's a different story. So, I put this on here, raise the blade, so 
Now I'll move this stop so that it can't go too far. And cut off too much material. Well, this came out pretty good. You can see it from this profile there on camera. Nice soft arc. Now, I don't think I would be able to do this uh, with a chisel in uh, as accurate or near the same amount of time. So this was a, an effective way to do it. Um, there was a, something I correct, well, actually two problems I had. You can see here and here it started to cut too much. The saw went in. That was because when I was um, spinning it, it started to pull the the uh, wood away from the fence and cut cutting too much. So this piece of wood here clamped stops it from moving. The other problem is you can see I used um, switched boards. The one I had before was warped very slightly, but it was like it was spongy. So when I'm pushing down and turning this, it was moving. It could go up and down on the saw because the uh, plywood was um, bowed like that. So this is flat, doesn't move. And uh, it's a good process. So what's next? We sand this down and uh, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. It's really messy in here and I think we'll do it, um, it's late. We'll do it outside maybe because of the, the dust. But uh, I'm excited, <laughs> this actually worked. Cool, we'll see you tomorrow. Next comes some sanding, we'll get rid of these ripples. Let me turn off the lights and you can see what it looks like a little bit better. I don't know that it's gonna show up. There you go, you can see it much easier now. All those little ripples will just sand right out. And any that are too deep, any mistakes that I made, like right here, um, we'll just put maybe a little bit of filler if it needs it. Oh, that was just too easy. Right there, I just did one spot, super smooth now. So just a tiny bit of sanding, and this is done. Hooray! Well, I thought we were done with this, but there's one more cut to do. I have to trim all the way around the edge because this is just a rough cut. So I put in, instead of a dowel, I just put in a little screw. That actually works a lot better than the dowel. Just find a screw head and uh, a drill bit that's the same size. All right, now we're done. It's a nice blank. You can see there's the edge it put on. I think this came out really nice. What do you guys think? Well, I'm being totally honest when I say I am shocked that this came out as well as it did. I really wasn't sure about how that table saw trick would work, but 
This came out really nice. Um, what's left? So I'm hoping, even though with all the work we have left to do on this shield, I'm hoping we can wrap it up in one or two more videos. Uh, let's see how that goes. The next video that we upload will be the um, 100,000 subscriber show and tell slash giveaway video that you guys sent your projects in a while back. So we'll be going over those and seeing what you guys made, which I'm really excited about. There are a few questions I'll answer before we go. This one's from Bill Gunn. He says, what's the best solid wood for a wood ring and best polish and polishing product? Well, I got a whole video on that. If you search what's the best wood for a wood ring, I think my video will come up. Even in Google, I think it will come up. But check out my videos. In the video description, click show more and scroll down. You'll see two PDFs. I think the one you want is the second one. And that one will show a list of different species of wood and the um, results that I got when I made a ring from them. If you're looking for hardness, I think you look on in the center, there's a column called Yanka, J-A-N-K-A, -A, and the higher the number in that column, the harder the wood. So that'll help you picking a hardwood that will still work for a ring. Next question is from Miguel. He's got a laser engraver question. He says, will this equipment engrave leather? Yep, absolutely. The wattage that I got on my laser will, I think it's 1.6 watts. That'll do leather just fine. Um, this is another one about the laser engraver. Can I use it on glass? Nope, it, you need a much more powerful laser. So if you're looking for a glass one, I would just contact who you're buying it from. And this is a comment I got a lot lately. Uh, please come back, we miss you. I'm pretty sure we're all worried what happened. Well, if you're wondering where I was, I'm fine. Everything's fine. It's just this, a lot of things came up this summer and I had to take care of them. It just made it difficult to upload videos still working on um, getting my life organized and hopefully this channel grows enough that I can do this full time and upload regularly. So we'll take care of the giveaway and get back to work on this shield. So take care guys. You're awesome. I'll see you next time.